Hello Divine Masculine and welcome to your power message for Saturday, Super Saturday. Now, I do feel physically things may be clearing up a little bit for you. So you may have an easier weekend this weekend. You may find the symptoms are not as intense or, you know, you're dealing with them a lot better now because you're starting to understand them a lot more. So I want to bring in for you today, the Divine Masculine Comes Home Oracle with the Eagle. And this is you, this is a physical representation of you right now as you come into land, as you move towards your goals and your dreams and you really do find your way. And the romance angels are always helping you. So I want to bring this deck in as well and we're going to bring in the Beyond Indigo deck to bring in some divine guidance. So thank you angels. What do we need to know please today for the divine masculine? What do we need to know? Wow, powerful. Those cards are powerful. What do you need to know? What do we need to know for the Divine Masculine? Thank you, thank you. What do we need to know for the Divine Masculine, please, angels? What do we need to know? And you're really getting your house in order. You know, your priorities in order. Came through last night, you know, in the DM to DF reading, divorce first. And I feel that means you're so sorting things out first. You're being very powerful and strong with that. You don't want to hurt your feminine you want to get rid of everything that needs to go first so you can focus completely on this connection. And that's about self-love. And that's why we've got love yourself first and we've got romantic feelings. So, you know, it's okay to explore these romantic feelings that you have because you're now loving yourself first. So because you're working on self-love, you're feeling a lot easier about being able to express the way you feel. So you're having all these romantic feelings flowing in for your feminine because you, your walls are coming down. And yesterday, you know, very powerfully we had the builders in. So I'm up a little bit early before they are here. So they'll probably be here in a little bit. But the banging that was going on next door, it's really showing me about expansion. You know, in my mind, they were showing me a big wall and a big hammer and breaking down the wall. And it's like when you've got two rooms and there's a wall in between them. So it's like the feminine and the masculine and there's a wall in between you. You're breaking down that wall so you can get to your divine feminine, but also so you can expand the life that you live. So you can see things differently. So I feel this is you seeing things in a new way, expanding your vision, expanding your horizon, seeing the bigger picture, allowing yourself to believe, allowing yourself to feel and grow. And that's what loving yourself first does. And that's what you're saying, divorce first, loving myself first, so I'm able to give to you in the right way. So I'm able to be balanced in my love for you. So I'm able to give to you what you give to me equally. And this is where you are. It says your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So because you're beginning to respect yourself, you're starting to feel more attractive. And a lot of you will have lost your confidence in previous relationships or along the way because you've been subduing things. You've been, you know, kind of pushing feelings down and repressing your emotions. And, you know, that can make us feel like a shadow of who we truly are. And now you're loving yourself and putting yourself first more. So these feelings are coming out. That's why you've been experiencing all of these ascension symptoms. Because things are being released, they have being repressed before, you know, you come together with your feminine. So you can speak your truth and explore these romantic feelings. And the angels are saying that to you today. Your feelings are real and they're worth exploring. You know, it means that now is the time. You deserve happiness. You deserve love. You deserve romance in your life. You deserve to feel excited about being around someone and being in the presence of your twin. You deserve that. And when you love yourself, you know that because you start respecting yourself more. And I feel this has given you the power and the confidence to make changes. Saying, right, I'm going to stand up now for who I want and what I believe in and who I am. And that's fighting for what you want. So loving yourself first is allowing you to explore your feelings because they are real and you know, explore these and show these to the world. You're just waiting for the right time. You're just waiting for the right time to, you know, explore your feelings and express these things to your feminine. So 
It's like this is the message you're giving to your feminine today. So feminines who are cross watching, your masculine is saying, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for the right time. I'm working on self-love right now. I'm building back my confidence up so that I'm able to explore and express my feelings. And we've got, yeah, look at this self-love. Very powerful, these messages coming through here. So self-love. Self-love is the key. Being kind and gentle with ourselves, not forcing or rushing anything, doing what we enjoy. And that's what February is all about. You know, if you connect with any reader who connects with the angels, they will say February is a month of love. A month of self-love, not just because of Valentine's Day, but because, you know, we've just gone through harsh energies. You know, we've gone through an amazing time at Christmas time, which has highs and lows, especially on this journey, highs and lows. And then we go into January where we're excited for the new year, but things can still feel a bit cool and stuck. And then things start heating up. And February brings that energy and it's like a welcome relief from the past. And we've got take a break. So the masculines are taking a break today to think, to process, to work it out. So you're being reminded this is why they sometimes don't reply to you. So instead of thinking, oh, he's ghosting me. So he's taking a break. He's processing. He's having a moment. Instead of thinking, oh, he's ghosting me. Because we think about the word ghosting. You know, first of all, we have a vision of a ghost. And that's a threat, you know, fear energy. You know, a fear-based energy that comes in. So we start feeling a little bit worried or anxious. And then we start thinking that we've done something wrong, which we haven't. You know, if your masculine is ghosting you, which he isn't, he's just waiting for the right moment to reply. He's just taking a brief pause and action to process, to think maybe he's busy at work or, you know, he's just thinking about what to say. How he can explore his feelings and express them to you. And chakra alignment. So right now, masculine, you're going through chakra alignment. You know, you're going through a change in your physical self to prepare you for what's next. So this is why you've been going through ascension. Physical symptoms as you prepare to move forward. A motorbike just went past, symbolizing speed. So your chakras have been aligning. So you may have felt this all through the chakra system. And not just in the body, above you, below you as well. And if you feel that your chakras are out of balance right now, or you want to know more about this, if you go to my power cleanse playlist, I did a powerful chakra cleanse on the 1st of January that you can do now. And that will help you to feel better. But I feel the angels are all around you today, balancing and aligning your chakras when you are taking a break. So families, if your masculine isn't replying right now, and there's some separation or silence between you. He's going through a chakra alignment, a chakra healing. So he's able to express himself more. And again, I'm addressing both twins because I feel both are watching here. Yet this is a message for the masculine. So masculines do things that are going to align your chakras to make you feel more balanced. And this may be asking the angels to come in and cleanse you, doing that power cleanse, maybe already working on your own chakras or being aware of where you are experiencing physical pain because that will also be an indicator of what's being healed in your life right now and what you need to address. Yeah, look at this ascension. So you're going through ascension. They are giving me a little bit of stomach pain as I'm connecting with you. So I do feel that a lot of the symptoms have eased off. But you may be having stomach issues. So I'm going to connect with that for you right now. They give me a little bit of stomach pain. So you may have, you know, and you could say I've just eaten something. I've just eaten something. It's given me a stomach, you know, a problem. But yeah, but that's not why. The reason why is because of, you know, the releasing. So I'm just finding the, the card in my ascension deck just so I can show it to you. And, you know, you may be going through other things, okay, such as constipation or, you know, running the loo or things like that. But they're giving me the stomach and there is other things like cramps and other things in this deck. But they're guiding me to the stomach directly. Fear-based struggle that causes gripping pain. So if you're having stomach pain, it's fear-based struggle. That means you may be struggling with the fear of the future or the fear of the change or the fear of expression, expressing yourself or speaking your truth. The need to trust the gut instinct and believe in what is intuitively known. Go with the flow. 
So that's what you're being guided to do. You know, if you're struggling to go the loo, you just need to go with the flow and then it will release. Okay, whenever we're anxious, we're either running the loo a lot or we're constipated because we're holding it in. You know, when my mum was in hospital, and you know, she's passed now, but you know, when she first got diagnosed and she passed seven years after she, her original diagnosis, but when she was in hospital and going through all the treatments, I was constantly on the toilet. Okay, I made friends with that hospital toilet because I was in there all the time because I was releasing so much, you know, and also, you know, I was holding things in. So I found that I couldn't go at home, but I was going at the hospital because that's where the release was. So our stomach gets affected. Our body is affected by the way that we feel. And we've also got fireworks. So fireworks come into your life because of these romantic feelings. And that can have an impact on the stomach too. You know, when you get your stomach turning over, you get butterflies, your feminine brings fireworks into your life. And this is what you want right now. This is what your body's preparing for. The fireworks, the excitement, the elation, the joy, the magic, the new beginning. And we've got crystal properties because I feel crystal properties can be things being released from your life, but also crystals help. So you may be interested in crystals, maybe using crystals on your chakras to align them, or, you know, you are connecting with that energy. But they're showing me this like alkaline. They're showing it me as in anything acidic being released or healed to bring in a more alkaline or balanced energy in all areas of your life. You know, and they're showing me the crystal as in things that crystallize. So things in the body, you know, we can get kidney stones or we can get crystals in things that cause discomfort. They show me those kinds of things. So it's about harnessing the power. And our body is, is water too. And our, you know, water, it's about cleansing. So it's about healing. I feel this as you being guided to drink more water and feel more cleansed. And that's going to align you, the, the property within yourself. And a message. So you want to reach out with a message. You want to maybe send a flower to your family for Valentine's Day. This is on your mind right now romance apologies yes but because it's a pink flower i'm feeling this is more about romantic feelings anyway that you want to express you want to be romantic there's nothing more you would love than to be able to knock on your feminine's door on valentine's day in the flesh no matter where they are in the world and give that rose because your feminine brings that up in you and that's real and worth exploring and there's also messages through music. So you're sending your feminine messages today through music, through songs, through a pink rose, maybe through crystal properties, maybe fireworks as well, because, you know, fireworks is about the power of the connection. These are things you're going to be sending to your feminine to help your feminine to understand that you're working on you right now, self-love to bring in power. So feminines are across watching. If you see fireworks today, no matter how, you might see them in your real world. Maybe you, you're watching a film and there's fireworks in there or, you know, you're going to see fireworks in some way. Maybe the song by Katy Perry, Firework, comes on because you're also going to be receiving messages through music that the masculine is waiting for the right time, that they are not ghosting you. They are taking a moment and they're sending you messages. And masculines, you're receiving messages in music as well. Music is touching. It touches our heart. It touches our soul. It connects us with who we are. And crystals are a reminder of healing energy. There's healing energy available to us at all times. So you may see crystals to remind you that you are a diamond and that you are unique and your masculine sees you that way. And if you see a pink rose, if you see red roses, it's about an apology. But a pink rose is about romance and excitement and romantic feelings so i'm definitely feeling a big message here for the feminine is you're going to see a pink rose or fireworks today or receive a message in music as a, a direct message from your twin but the masculine energy here is you're waiting for the right time so there's a brief pause in action as you explore your feelings which are worth exploring and if there's any fear around that because you're loving yourself right now, you may be feeling that in the stomach through ascension. 
So I do feel other things easing off like eye pain, even dry skin. You know, when I spoke about the dry skin, it's healed up because that's what happens with me when I'm channeling. I talk about a physical symptom and I experience it, you know, very powerfully. And then once I express it, it goes and that's what's happened. So you may be watching these readings and because you're understanding why you're experiencing certain things in your body, then you are the observer. So you allow the feelings in and to the understanding to come in without judgment. And then the physical symptom will go or it will heal or it will balance or align. And then something new may flip in. A lot like when we see a sign or a synchronicity and we continue to see it and then we understand why we're seeing it. Once we acknowledge that we are seeing it for a reason, then the sign will go and something else will come in. The universe is very clever how it communicates. The body is very clever how it picks up on things from the mind and our circumstances and situation. And you are addressing your circumstances right now and your situation to make big changes. So focus on joy and love and the universe will do the rest. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.